blood. Must be birdies. Trash should lead me to him. Badly. I'm following the trail. Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. <coughs> he made it out, right? He got the crystals? <coughs> yeah, he did. All thanks to you, kid. <coughs> I pulled it off. <coughs> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <coughs> Listen, it's my birthday today, uh, and can I ask a favor? You see, over there, my radio, I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. Uh, I just gotta, hello? Mom, <coughs> you there? Mom? It's all good, Mom. We're almost... Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney! He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen. We got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. Nathan! What's going on? Nathan! Nathan! <laughs> Barney. You there? You find Bertie? He was in bad shape, Barney. I'm sorry. Let's get the fuck out. Nothing left for us here. My biomarker. It's starting to redline, Aiden. I won't make it to the bazaar. I gotta wait somewhere. Right outside the dark zone, there's a windmill. I'll fix it and let you know when it's safe. You can hide there until dawn. Okay, got it. Just hurry.
Barney's here already. Just arrived. He fucking... What? He was supposed to... <sighs> Didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. So that's why he sent me to check on his friend. So he could sneak away. It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar, I'll explain everything. Trust them. Can you hear yourself at all? Yeah, give me a break, man. It's not a big deal. Shut up. I'm trying to think how to fix this. Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? You got something to hide? You were talking about the PK commander, weren't you? Look at Mr. Nosy here. Watch where you stick that nose, Pilgrim, or you'll lose it. That fucker would Lucas deserve to die. That's the truth. Barney, the truth is this. You're an idiot, and the peacekeepers protect us. Protect? From what? Who took over our windmill? The peacekeepers. Who took over the Metro? Fucking Lucas. So they should get the fuck out before they all end up like their motherfucking commander. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. 
You used Birdie to distract me. That it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you. So go bother her. to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Uh, Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Uh, interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar, but Carl threw them out for pulling scams, and now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I wanna ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance.